What's going on everyone? This is EK1 Gaming here and today's video we're going to be looking at that build. Yes, that build in the PTS where you can basically be un unbeatable, undestroyable and basically just not die. It is a crazy build. Of course this is the PTS so this um, this build is not something that I envision actually going into TU10. If they don't change this somehow, I've got a feeling it's going to upset a lot of people. But that's the main reason for doing the PTS. And Phase 1 PTS, perfect time to pick up on this um, issue and to raise it with the devs or on the forum. So for Phase 2, hopefully that there will be some improvements and changes to this. However, I've got to say... Personally, I think in PvE this build is fine, but it does need tweaking for PvP. But I'm a very strong believer in PvE and PvP stats should all be completely separate. They should be two different things. But hey, let's just get into it and tell you exactly what the build is. Now, this is not like a build video where I'm going to be showing you all my specialization, weapons, etc. I'm basically just going to run down on the, the gear set because that's what makes this what it is. And then what you put with it is pretty much open for your choice. You know, if you want a bit more armor, you can use the um, Giller Guard for the, for the total armor or however you want to build it. But I'm not going to go into how you would build it. I'm basically just going to go into what it does and how effective it is and then i'm going to show you some game footage of it actually in use in pvp with about five people shooting me and i'm not dying and then also in a legendary mission on my own running around not dying as well and um, so let's get into it basically it is the foundry bulwark gear set now this is a brand new gear set um, which is going to be coming out in TU10, of course. If you put two pieces of this gear set on, you are going to get 10% total armor. For three pieces, you are going to get 3% armor regen. And for four pieces, it makes shift repairs. So whenever you or your shield take damage, 40% of that amount is repaired to both over 10 seconds. So not only does the shield get repaired, you get repaired as well. So you don't always have to use the shield. Now, in terms of the backpack, obviously the backpack and the chest piece have their own talents as well. So this increases the makeshift repair speed from 10 seconds to 6 seconds. So basically, judging if you're just wearing this, you're going to get 40% of the um, damage taken repaired on you and the shield every six seconds or over six seconds. Now we'll go and have a look at the chest piece. And this makes it even more interesting. This is improved material. So it increases the makeshift repairs from 40% to 60%. So you're getting 60% of the damage that you've, in, that, that you've taken in back over six seconds on your shield and on yourself so your own armor goes up it's incredible it works so well you can see here the armor on this build is 1.8 million now this build is not fully specced out look i mean i've got space here to put more armor if needed you know, if you go and put another armor, obviously ignore the actual fact that it's another one of those um, uh, gear set because I wouldn't use that together anyway. But if you just put something with max armor again, you've now got 2 million armor. 2 million armor. Yes, you're not going to do much damage. You won't. You'll see in the clips that you won't do that much damage. Um, but this build is fantastic for survivability, for taking... Um, the aggro on legendary missions especially, and we found it absolutely awesome for that. And it's probably one of the best builds for the aggro or tankiness in the whole game. Now, will they change it? Yes, I think they will. Hopefully, like I say, they only change it for PvP. Because I'll show you some clips in a second of it basically in action. Of course, I've also got the Giller Guard, which gives me the extra 5% there. So if you're wondering how to get to 2 million... Just use the extra 5% on the Giller Guard. And then you can basically put the mods on. This is with no mods. I haven't even modded any of the, the pieces at all. So, I mean, it, this, this build, I've seen people running builds like this where the shield can't actually be destroyed. It's impossible. I'll show you some clips now. 
of this in action. Um, one of them clips will be me running around with it. And then I'm going to show you another guy that had it on outside the checkpoint. And two of us were shooting him, throwing skills. And we could not down him. However, there is a counter for this. And it's that nemesis. The nemesis hit like a truck. If you can charge the nemesis up, hit a headshot, it will drop anybody running 2 million armor. So that's pretty much the only way to get around it for now that we know of. But here's the clips, guys. Enjoy, and I'll speak to you at the end of it. Now, as you can see on the video, it is crazy powerful when it comes to um, maintaining armor and also the armor regen. If you stack into like the armor regen using efficient and stuff like that, you can go literally against the whole server shooting you and still not die. Um, as I say, there is many variants of the build um, where people are using different things to make the shield um, basically unbreakable. And also just to make yourself unbreakable as well, which is uh, which is crazy. But they are st having a step in the right direction. I, I strongly believe that the PTS will bring out the good in time to kill so far in uh, the division. I'm glad it's being addressed and I'm glad it's gone this way rather than staying at a very poor time to kill. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment in the comment section below to tell me your thoughts on this build or how you've run it if you've tried it. And don't forget, hit that notification bell. Guys, take care and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's go!